Hello everyone, so today I thought that I would do a video on my products that I use when my hair is straight. Um, I've just done a video on curly products, so I thought, why not get the straight ones done too? So, I will start off with shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo and conditioner that I have been using recently, when my hair is straight, is the Redken All Soft. This is the shampoo, and this is the conditioner. Now, these are amazing. They do really, really leave your hair soft. My hair is very brittle, um, but when I'm using this, it does feel really soft, and you can just run your hands through your hair, which is a good sign. Um, so I do highly recommend these products. Um, it says, all soft shampoo, softness for dry, brittle hair. Um, cleanse, restore, and soften dry, brittle hair. All soft shampoo with Redken's exclusive interlock protein network and keratin enriched complex with omega 6 enriched argan oil replenishes hair's protein composed of keratin and nourishes hair for intense softness. Hair is silky soft with increased manageability, suppleness, and lasting shine. Now, this is correct. If you want soft hair, um, this shampoo and conditioner are the way to go. I would highly recommend. Um, the next product, once I've dried, sorry, not dried my hair, once my hair is towel dried, I put a lot of products into it. Main one being heat protection. Obviously, you're going to straighten your hair, you need heat protection. This dual personality heat protection by Aussie is something that I've always used. I cut. I've tried other heat protectants, but I kind of felt like I've got products in my hair and I don't like the feeling of them. Whereas this one, I can't feel it in my hair. It's very light. I hope it's doing the job. Um, my hair's still splitting. I'm sure it can't be a miracle product. But um, yeah, this is what I always use. I do have a Tresemme one, but I don't like the feel of it in my hair. So I always come back to this one. Recommend it. One thing I did actually just forget. Um, when I'm washing my hair, I also use Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. Um, now this, it again leaves your hair soft. I don't know what it smells like, but it does smell very good. It's very luxurious, like a thick, thick cream. Um, I made a mistake last night of actually using this and the Redken All Soft products, well, the, sh the shampoo together. And I don't know if there's such a thing as too soft, but it is too soft. Like, I feel like it lacks oomph. It's just too soft and shiny. I mean, some people might like that, so if you like that, definitely combine these two and you'll have very soft hair. Um, but I'm not such a fan of ultra, ultra soft. I just think it makes it very limp. And my hair is very limp at the moment. But um, separately, they are very good. This does feel like it's um, working on your hair. Um, it feels very soft afterwards. So if you need, if you want a deep conditioner, what I might do is just use this with the clarifying shampoo that I've talked about in my previous video. Um, because this will be very good for nourishing after that because the clarifying shampoo does dry your hair so I think I'll stick to using this after that shampoo and um, with the Redken All Soft I'll probably just use the two combined and not use the treatment after one of these because it's just way too soft for my liking but that shows that they're doing the job but just combined, too much softness, ultra softness right, um, another product that I use um, so I use the heat protectant. Um, I've spoken about this before. It's the Aussie Miracle Hair Insurance Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I've spoken about it before, as I said, but it's just a leave-in conditioner. I feel because my hair is so broken and brittle that I should just condition it. So I always put this in. It's not heavy. It doesn't weigh down my hair. And again, I like to feel like it's doing something and conditioning my hair. My hair feels soft. That could be a number of products, but my main point is I don't want anything weighing down my fine hair. And if you want a conditioner in your hair, this is something to go for. Then, 
think I spoke about this too, it's the Redkin Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. Um, it's extreme anti-snap with interlock protein network and fortifying complex delivers protein and ceramide to help fortify weakened ends, protect internal strength and reinforce surface protection and shine. Hair is healthy looking and resilient. Um, I spoke about this before. It's a product that um, I used to use, didn't really notice anything. Um, but then when it ran out, I didn't repurchase it and I just kind of missed it. Um, may, it may be or may not, my hair was growing or feeling stronger with it um, but then I noticed my hair getting not so great when I wasn't using it so that might have been a combination of products I was using at the time but the fact that I miss it is a reason why I like it I just put a little bit in the ends um, doesn't do any harm doesn't make my hair feel way down again so if it's supposed to be helping my distressed hair I'm all for it another product yes I do put a lot of products into my hair to when I straighten it but considering I put so many into my hair it doesn't feel like it's got lots of products in so this must mean that a lot of these are very very light formulas. I also use the Chi Keratin Mist Leave-In Straightening Treatment um, and this is Chi Keratin Mist specially formulated sorry let me start again Chi Keratin Mist is specifically developed to work in conjunction with the Chi line. Chi Keratin Mist with cationic, sorry, I'm probably completely saying that wrong, hydration, interlink, and proteins is advanced leave-in spray to provide hair with strength, protection, and softness while leaving hair silky and shiny with incredible malleability. Um, this I got because when I was in America last because I saw a lot of YouTubers talk about it. I don't particularly... Um, see any difference with or without it um i can't stand the smell it smells like men's aftershave or something but the horrible aftershave um but you know maybe it's one of those products that i'll miss when i haven't got it it doesn't weigh my hair down and again anything that claims to strengthen my hair i'm all for while i have it i'll use it and um, if i miss it when it's gone i'll buy it again um but Apart from the smell, it's not done me any harm. So this is what I put in. Um, another product, which I don't always use. It depends how I feel. It's a Frizzy's Three Day Straight for curly hair. Semi-permanent styling spray. Now, this, first of all, claims to leave your hair straight for three days, but may work for others but it definitely doesn't work for me my hair does not stay straight for three days um i'll always gonna get that kink when i sleep on it so i always have to go over it the next day when it's straight um so it's not a wonder product in that sense but what it does do is if i feel like really 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 poke straight hair um then i'll go for it because it does leave your hair very very poke straight but sometimes I feel like it's too flat to my head I like a bit of like oomph to it and it doesn't deliver that if you want poke straight hair go for it you know it does leave your hair straight maybe for you it'll leave your hair straight for three days not for me but when I first do it and consecutive days after I, when I re-straighten it it does leave your hair very very straight sometimes my hair um, on this side likes to get kinks I mean I know I always do put my hair behind this it's always gonna get a kink but um sometimes it gets a bit puffy around here and this does prevent it so um like I say good for pokey straight hair um some days I feel like it some days I don't most days I don't feel like it but when I do it's here I just don't put too much of it in your hair though because it feels kind of greasy and there's too much gunk in it so I just put a couple of strips here a couple of strips here good to go and then the final product, once my hair is dry, um, as a serum, I don't put too much, just a little bit at the ends, is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum Smooths and Conditions. This is this. I don't know if you can see it. Hard to see. But this bottle, I've got not much left. I must have had it for about two years. It does last a long time. It smells kind of fruity I don't know but it's yummy um I mean I'm pretty sure most serums are 
pretty similar. I used to use an Aussie one, um, but you know, it's, it doesn't feel too heavy as long as you just put a tiny bit on the ends. Don't go near the roots, and um, it's been great. I can use a tiny bit all the time. It's lasted me long, and that's what I use. So, um, if you've got any more questions regarding these products, let me know, and I will always answer your questions. Um, please subscribe. Um, I'm only new at this, but um, I'm planning on keeping putting videos up. If you like reviews, favourites, hauls, that's what I'm going to try and do because I do spend a lot of money on beauty products, so I might as well share um, my reviews and my thoughts on these because it's a waste the amount of products I buy. I might as well try and help people outside, out, out there. I'll help you. So please subscribe if you're interested in those kind of videos. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.